Good afternoon, and welcome to the East Room of the White House, decorated for the holiday season <clears throat> and uh, to celebrate the gift of gratitude. It's an appropriate backdrop for this ceremony, we believe, because our hearts are overflowing with gratitude today as we honor the unparalleled courage and commitment to duty and the indispensable, indisputable gallantry and trep you know, I, I, it's just hard to explain where your soldiers got the courage they got. The late Sergeant First Class Alwyn Cash, late Sergeant First Class Christopher Solis, Master Sergeant Earl Plumley, Plumley, and our nation's newest recipients of our highest military award, the Medal of Honor. I want to thank all of our distinguished guests that are here today, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, the, the sec Secretary of the, uh, of the uh, uh, se se Secretary Austin, the Enlisted Advisor, Chairman Colin Lopez, and the leaders of the United States Army, and the Vice President of the United States, and the second gentleman, and uh, I'm Jill's husband. Jill is here. Attention orders. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3rd, 1863, has possibly awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Sergeant First Class Alwyn C. Cash, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Sergeant First Class Alwyn C. Cash distinguished himself by acts of gallantry above and beyond the call of duty while serving as platoon sergeant with Company A, 1st Battalion, 15th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Brigade, 3rd Infantry Division in Saladin Province, Iraq, on October 17, 2005, v. President of the United States. Attention orders. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress March 3, 1863, has possibly awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Sergeant First Class Christopher A. Solis, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Sergeant First Class Christopher A. Solis distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry above and beyond the call of duty while engaged with the enemy in Pakia Province, Afghanistan, on July 12, 2018. Joseph R. Biden, the President of the United States. Attention orders. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress March 3rd, 1863, has possibly awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Earl D. Plumley, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry at the risk of his life and above and beyond the call of duty. Staff Sergeant Earl D. Plumley distinguished himself by acts of gallantry above and beyond the call of duty on August 28, 2013, while serving as a weapons sergeant, C Company, 4th Battalion, 1st Special Forces Group Airborne, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, President of the United States. <laughs> 